G'day everyone and welcome to our Thursday footy feed. We start at Carlton where Chris Judd has decided to extend his distinguished career for at least another season. The two-time Brownlow medalist has agreed to play on next year, his 13th season at the top level. Declaring the fire in the valley still burns strongly. I'm really enjoying it. Um, you know, I think I've, I've still got a role to play with the footy club and uh, you know, I think that we've got some potential here to, to play some good footy. The 29-year-old has played 245 games since his debut back in 2002. Melbourne has elevated midfielder Nathan Jones into the captaincy after injuries struck both Jack Trengove and Jack Grimes. Jones's first task will be to lead the side against Gold Coast on Sunday. More from Jackie Reid. Hitching a ride after failing to get through training, Jack Trengove's injury setback has compounded his sluggish start to the year. We have experimented with Jack in a, in a variety of roles. His offensive output in the last two games probably been down a little bit, but prior to that we thought he was OK. But um, and now he's going to have to sit out uh, time while he gets his calf strain better. He joins Jack Grimes on the sidelines, leaving the Ds without both their skippers. Q Nathan Jones and new acting vice-captain Colin Garland. We just think it's a really good opportunity for Nathan and Colin to experience leadership with that, that next level up. It's a move the critics have been calling for, but the coach is still adamant Trengove and Grimes are the best candidates for the job. The youth or the inexperience of games, it is what it is. Those two boys are clearly the best leaders on their playlist at the moment. Chris Dawes will pull on the boots on Sunday and he's got high hopes for his first game in the red and blue. I won't just be planning on getting through. I'll be sort of bring a lot of effort, leadership to that forward line. Uh, I'll tie up one of their big bodied defenders and hopefully, you know, have a bit of a physical presence myself. Well, that's pretty much what I said. <laughs> and, and I'll kick 10. <laughs> oh, I, I can't believe you said that. The coach has other things on his mind, busy shielding himself from persistent rumours that Sydney Premiership coach Paul Ruse is ready to take his job. I don't feel I need to add any commentary to a rumour that has already been proven to be wrong. Jackie Reid, afl.com.au. Ken Hinckley has revealed the frustrations behind a virus that forced him out of the coach's box in Port Adelaide's loss to North Melbourne. The 46-year-old has since fully recovered. He watched the game from home and had little contact with assistant Alan Richardson as the power fell to their first loss of the and season. The communication thing was never going to be big because you can't spend too much time because you don't see the full game and you don't get an appreciation of everything that's going on. So it does make it really difficult. It's not, not an easy way to watch the game. I suppose it was the only way I had to watch the game, so I had to deal with it. Power faithful can rest easy. Hinkley has declared himself a certain starter for the clash with Richmond. And the Tigers are looking to exploit the knowledge of former Port Adelaide stalwarts Mark Williams and defender Troy Chaplin ahead of Saturday's game. Uh, has got some knowledge of some players there. There's certainly, well, he makes no <laughs> bones about it. He's certainly got some knowledge of those players. So, yeah, he's had some input with regard to some strengths and weaknesses of those. Ricky Pettard and Dylan Grimes look likely to miss while Ruckman Ivan Marich faces a fitness test. Essendon has hit the beach ahead of Friday night's blockbuster against Geelong and the coach has scoffed at Chris Scott's suggestion that the Bombers are the best side in the league. Oh, what did we finish last year? 12th. Uh, they've been in the top four for the last, I don't know how many years it is. They're a fantastic side, one of the great teams of all times. And a boost for the Dons, Dyson Heppel has re-signed for a further two seasons. In Sydney, Mike Pike isn't feeling the pressure of Kurt Tippett's impending return to senior footy. The Canadian, who is third in the league for contested marks, insists there is room for Tippett, Shane Mumford and himself. People get a bit caught up on, on height and, and um, I think the, the most important thing is that your best 22 is in form and I think typically they pick himself that way. The grand final hero is also in the top 10 for hitouts. And that is our Thursday footy feed. Worth mentioning, the brand new official AFL player ratings have been launched today. Gary Ablett rated the number one player in the game. You can check out the ratings online here at afl.com.au. It's certainly got people talking. That's all for now. I'm Matt Thompson. Have a great night.